What is going on you guys? It is your host Galadon back with another Lineage 2 Revolution video. Today I wanted to spend a little time talking about what I thought was the best way to spend gems or spend real money if you're going to do it in a game. Now there are a lot of different ways it can get a little bit confusing because of the shop offers, the limited offers, the things that pop up on the screen like this. First things first, inventory space is key. Definitely, if you have the ability to expand your inventory space, do it. Also, make sure you log in daily because these rewards are amazing. Look at the 14 and 28 day rewards. They're crazy. You get a rare equipment piece and then a weapon if you can wait that long. So get in there, make sure you get your daily logins done, and that may save you from needing to buy some equipment. But let's run through what I think are probably the best values in the game. Remember, as you get in every day, you're going to get a certain number of free draws. Now, these are not going to give you significantly valuable pieces of equipment or armor, but it's it's worth it. And, you know, free is a good price. I think that's the best price out there. So pick up the free stuff as best you can. And now let's get into the best value if you're going to spend some gems. And most of these are going to apply to players that are leveling. Players that want to get through the levels, get to 120 as quickly as possible. And for the most part, that comes down to experience. There are a lot of ways, of course, you can earn experience and Adina. And one way is through quest scrolls that you will pick up in your adventures throughout the game. And right here, you can see we can do five of these quest scrolls a day. But once those five are exhausted, you can reset the count. The first time, only 50 red gems. This probably one of the best values in the game as far as spending those red gems. Now you do get a certain number of red gems free every day, uh, but if you went beyond that, that's a great way to spend it. Another way to spend your red gems, and this will go a long way, is in the arena. Now you get five free battles a day in the arena, but number six and number seven, 10 and 20 red gems, usually worth it because of the honor rank and the arena rewards. They are significant, and as you increase that honor rank, they are permanent and they're big improvements to your character, especially early on. So every single day, make sure you get in here, make sure you get your five free battles in. And then if you have the red gems to spend, number six and number seven, always worth it. And even if you lose, you are going to gain honor points. The only thing that gets injured if you lose in the arena is your pride. And actually, you don't have to tell anybody that you lost. Only you really know if you win or you lose in the arena. Much different than PvP out in the field when you're facing players in a much different setting. So we take down Ball Ache. Yes, that was Ball Ache. And I, I, I get the joke there, she's funny. All right, so she goes down, I get the victory, and I'm going to pick up the uh, honor right there. You can see 10 honor points and an increase in rank. We've got a ways to go for the next one, but it's always worth the grind to try to get there. So we will move on, and I'm trying to go from maybe cheapest to more expensive. I've looked at a lot of different guides in forums, on Reddit, and this is kind of my opinion of all of these different pieces of information. All right, next up, Daily Dungeon. This is a huge one, you guys, because of the rewards. Check out Sunday's reward. Scrolls and Stones. These are some of the hardest things to get in the game, some of the most important to get in the game as well, and resetting your daily dungeon, absolutely worth it, especially once you get up to hard and very hard and you're receiving four of each item as a reward for very hard instead of one at easy. But even then, if you can afford it, this is a great way to get in there, spend a few extra gems and get those stones and scrolls for upgrading your armor and your weapon and your accessories. And again, it's relatively inexpensive to reset those daily dungeons so I would say that's almost always worth it. It is 100, so it's a little bit more. But again, these rewards are difficult to find anywhere else without spending actual real money. So if you're just going with red diamonds, this is a great way to do it. Now, speaking of actual real money, let's get into the shop itself. And what I think are some of the better bargains here, definitely the daily benefits. These reward you for coming back every single day. So if you are an active player, if you are somebody that is sure they're going to be here every single day, then these are a great investment. You are always going to benefit. You're gonna come out way ahead on these. These make a lot of sense, but again, it requires that commitment 
If you're sure you're going to be playing, then definitely these are some packages to look at. Also, the strengthening packages. These require you to continue to level through the game, not necessarily log in daily, but as you level up or you finish the story chapters, you have big rewards, and then the login diamond one is going to be for logging in seven different times. And this one costs a thousand blue diamonds, but the total reward, if you check it out, is going to be 2,000 red diamonds. And then, of course, you also have the additional rewards, the runes, the herbs, the pages there are going to help out. So this is a great investment right here. And then moving on to the bundles. Again, I talked about storage space. The Luxury Starter Bundle for $29.99, probably the best deal uh, because it does give you that additional 120 backpack slots, which you're going to want. And then Soul Shots and the Pots, those things are definitely helpful. And all right, so the Luxury Starter Bundle, one of my favorites. I haven't purchased it on this character yet, but then I'm not so sure how much I'm going to be playing. This is my alt versus my main. All right, let's check out one more thing. That's the Elite Dungeon and Hot Time. Now you get 30 minutes a day of hot time. Hot time is significant. The monsters give eight times the experience and drop four times the loot. But you can extend it right there. It's 100 red gems per 15 minutes for the first 30 minutes. Then it's 200 red gems per 15 minutes for the next 30 minutes. And then 400 red gems per 15 minutes for the next 30 minutes after that. I would recommend if you're going to do it just add 30 minutes a day. It's relatively cheap. And again, you're going to get much more experience and a lot more drops. You can use those for upgrading your other equipment. Now back in the shop, one more thing I wanted to talk about here, the scrolls. This can make sense, especially at higher levels, to purchase these grade S quest scrolls. They are going to give huge rewards when it comes to Adina and experience. And you can buy up to 10 of those a day they are going to be commensurate to your level, but remember, you're going to have to reset scrolls in addition to that if you're using more than five of those a day. All right, one more thing, the limited shop. I love the limited shop, it is a great place. Keep an eye for offers that pop up here because sometimes you will see really high level items, especially end game items that you're going to want. And I'm gonna cover that next. Something that you also can of course buy is these massive amounts of diamonds, but check out the topaz you see the topaz in there those are difficult to get and you can buy some amazing stuff with topaz this is end game stuff we're talking about a grade sr limit break stone for limit breaking your maxed out sr gear once it's hit level 30 maffer's protection that is when you're using those scrolls to prevent losing a level once you've gotten past about level 13 or so you're going to want to use those and then the attribute stone for enhancing attributes of the maxed out equipment. And again, blessed scrolls. I mean, who wants a chance just to go up one level when you've got only about a 40% chance of succeeding? With blessed scrolls, you can go up by as much as three levels with one enhance. That makes a huge difference. And combined with Maffer's protection, very valuable. So the Topaz, great. But some of those items you will also find in the limited shop. Now these summon boxes I'm not a big fan of, but check out the ones on the right that earn loyalty points. Loyalty points, another currency, and check out what you can buy with 100 loyalty points, an S or SR weapon. So if you consider the idea of buying some of these boxes, maybe one for 1200, a few more down there for seven loyalty points each, getting 100 loyalty points and you're guaranteed an S or an SR weapon, that is huge right there, especially for lower level characters. To have a high level weapon like that is going to really accelerate you through the leveling process. So that is just about going to cover what I consider probably the best values in the game. If you're gonna spend diamonds, if you want to spend actual money, my philosophy on it has always been, hey, this game is free, right? How much did you pay for Call of Duty or, or how much did you pay for Fortnite or PUBG on Xbox or any sort of console game and most PC games. You're going to spend some money. You're probably going to get enjoyment out of this game like you would one of those games. Now, I'm not encouraging you to spend money. Do what you want. Do what is comfortable for your budget. This is not a sponsored video. I just love this game. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again tomorrow for more Lineage 2.
revolution.